just briefly, let's talk about the impact that setting daily goals has made on your life. Well, I feel a lot more accomplished and uh, my day is a lot more structured. You were telling me this before too, that like, uh, because you're always so busy, it's like two days passes by and it feels like two weeks. Yeah. Uh, so it's, even though I'm more busy, like the anxiety, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, has increased. Uh, it's like made me have more intention. I guess I keep using that word, but it's made me have more initiative. Mm, that's what you were doing. Things. Initiative, yeah. And because um, you're worried now. Now you're worried. So yeah. I'm, oh God, I have a deadline now. Now I have a deadline. I have yeah. to be done by now. So I feel great when I have like seven things done by twelve o'clock, like by noon. I feel so great, and I have the rest of the day. I could get more stuff done because it's more structured. It's like, okay, this is one block of time, this is one black block of time. Well, even, yeah. to, even today, I mean, just to make a point, even today, you didn't even sleep at your house today. You crashed at a friend's house. Yeah. You came straight from there to here, but before noon today, right now it's it's 10 o'clock something, you will have yeah. done your workout, yeah, your before cardio, they wake up. Your, first, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your first two meals, you'll have already done a podcast, you'll have done handstands, vacuums, you'll, yeah. have, you'll have done all this stuff before your friends even wake up. And yeah. you didn't even start... I know, that's a great You feeling. didn't even start the day in a normal environment, yeah. in a normal house, nothing. And you were still ready for it, and you still did your whole morning, and you're going to have done more than they'll do in their whole day. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know, the whole, that was the whole me even them. a month ago. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, that's that's what I am most appreciative of in, in this month, is um, how I've made myself do something and it feels <laughs> so terrible when it's happening and I'm like having to like lift this weight <laughs> so early and just it it doesn't feel pleasant but then after it I'm like wow I really did that and ice bath yeah it like making yourself do things that, oh ice bath that was a great example same like, example same yeah thing. yeah of sucked in the time showing right? my discipline <laughs> and uh, having a tough love for myself like even a, a month ago like I was just feeling so much more shitty about myself like like, I wasn't really doing much. Now you're somebody you yeah. should be proud to say, I'm a great yeah. person. I'm, I'm working on myself, mm -hmm. and I'm a good person to know. Yeah. And I, I'm going to stay this way, and you don't let people change it Makes that. it a lot more productive than just, like... Because, mm -hmm. in a way, you're you're still being, like, self-critical and stuff, but it, it puts it in a good energy where it's yes. proactive. Yes. Yeah. You, you say, listen, this is shitty about myself, but guess what? I know I can fix it just by yeah. doing this for five minutes a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that gives you an amazing, amazing edge. Because if you know God... I sure can't uh, run very well. Mm. Damn it. Well, five minutes a day. We're not even going to leave the house. Yeah. We can practice our running cues in the house. And after doing that for a week, you will have the confidence to maybe go outside and try a short jog outside practicing your running cues. And if you do that for five minutes a day for a week, guess what? You'll already have run 25 minutes, 30 minutes that week. By the end of that week, maybe next week, you'll try a 10-minute run. And mm. guess what? By the end of that month, that person's going to be right where you're at with their running. They're going to mm -hmm. be doing miles with their runs. And this is somebody who was overweight, couldn't do it beforehand, but just because they knew, all I have to do is practice these things in my house where nobody can see me, and then I'll look really good when I go outside, and I'm okay even if I don't look good. I just know I have to do it just five minutes a day, that's it, mm -hmm. and I will make progress. That is really, really amazing knowledge to have, yeah. and it makes you very powerful. That goes back to, well, um, also the community that I have, like, just being around people that are more proactive about their life, it's made me a lot less depressed and in like a slump of, oh, well, I mean, that person is just special, you know, that person's just talented. Mm -hmm. No, they were just like, they forced themselves to do something, they were the captain of their machine, and then they said, okay, I'm going to put myself through this and force it to adapt. Then they've gained discipline, they've gained like a, a life style we're talking about. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. this is one of those common mistakes and I used to when I was well I should say when I was much younger, I used to think, oh man, that that, that guy was born uh, very talented, yeah. you know. Very so yeah, lucky absolutely. to have born with those gifts. Yeah. And uh, I no, there's many research papers on this, but I'll just quote one that I can remember is the scientist he had he had four daughters I and mean, he didn't do it for the experiment, but he had four <laughs> daughters, they were all born about the same time and he b immediately began teaching them chess. Now chess is a skill you can't you can't innately be good at chess. You have to learn how to play it. You have to learn the you know you cannot innately be born with that skill. So he taught all four of his daughters how to play chess and all four